Hello everyone, it's Gravity's Ghost, and today we're playing a very special game. A very special game of mine that I love very much. It's Joy Mech Fight. It's a game that just released on the Nintendo Switch Online, but it's only on the Japanese version, which is Famicom Online. Uh, even even if you do have a paid version of uh, of the Nintendo uh, Online, you can actually still have access to this game. Uh, you know, if you have a Japanese account and then you download the Famicom Online app uh, on your Switch, then you can just access it using your actual account, and you can just play this. Um, Joy Mech Fight is a pretty fun game. Uh, it's basically a fight. So it's basically a fighting game. One of Nintendo's first attempts at making a fighting game, and it's a really good version of it. Uh, today I'll be I'll be starting well, I, about three years ago. Yeah, three yeah three years ago. About three years ago, I used to uh, do a little Let's Play series of Joy Mech Fight, and I never finished it. Uh, so, that's why I'm going to be taking this opportunity of this game re-releasing on Switch Online to finally get to, uh, I wouldn't say finish, but restart my Let's Play series. Uh, obviously I don't call them Let's Plays anymore, I call them playthroughs, uh, because Let's Plays it sounds so 2010s or something. Uh, but basically, uh, <laughs> I want to, you know, get people into playing this game because I have so much passion for this really underrated game. It's a hidden gem, in my opinion, and I think everyone should have a chance to play it. It's really fun, the controls are actually really responsive, and you don't even need to know Japanese to play this game. Because, when you go to each, when you're going to each character, here, here let me show you. When you get this character select screen, picking your characters, uh, right now we have only, right now I only have eight characters, but you actually can unlock more characters. There's actually 36 in total. However, you have to beat the story mode on hard difficulty to unlock them. Uh, so, yeah, that's the only thing about it. But yeah, when you're going to this character select screen, obviously we have the eight original characters here. Uh, this is obviously you know, Sukapon. He's in Smash Bros. as an assist trophy. Uh, when you go down here to this one, this will actually take you to the manual. And uh, you'll have three options here. This one will teach you how to use your moves. It'll tell you which commands you need to do. This one will let you freely train. And this one will let you quit. So like, every character has four special moves. Sometimes they will, sometimes they will have a grab as one of them. Sometimes they don't. But all of the main eight characters have a grab in their specials. So as the other three, it'll be something different. Let's look at the first one. This one is his Kanana Ran, which he press A and B both at the same time to launch his head. Yeah, you get the gist of it. Pressing A and B, Kanana Ran. If you press hold down and press A, you do Tondicker. Hold back and then press forward and B to do the Sukupon roll. And then obviously he's got his grab where you just get close to him, press forward or back and A. Yeah, uh, you can use this to your advantage to, you know, just learn all the ins and outs of a character. Every character has a punch, a kick, a uh, uh, leg sweep, a good punch, air punch, and an air kick. And then obviously they can grab, they can uh, block, and uh, pretty much the fundamentals of a fighting game. The only thing about Joy Mech Fight that's like a little bit... Oops. <laughs> the only thing about Joy Mech Fight that's a little bit different from a traditional fighting game is that <laughs> there isn't actually a timer during the battles. Uh, so let's get into a battle right now. Let's, I'm going to put in, uh, shoot, uh, how about Giant? So yeah, when you're fighting the game, there's no timer. You can play for as it, it, the game can go on for as long as it wants. However, you see those two hearts next to each of the characters' names. That's your life. Even though technically there's two hearts, you actually have three lives, so it's a it's a three out of five situation. Uh, so basically, for each heart, it's like you know you're recharging because there every character in this game is a robot. This cat and the story of the game is kind of like a Mega Man ripoff, kind of sorta. But hey, you, you can't blame them. It works. <laughs> Obviously, I'm losing right now because I'm, I'm just talking to you guys, and I'm just explaining, you know, the ins and outs of Joy Mech Fight. Because uh, everyone needs to play this game. It's amazing. I love it so much. 
it deserves all the love it needs. And it should probably get a remaster. Nintendo, if you're listening, please remaster Joy Meg Bite and release it internationally this time. Thank you very much. But yeah, after, you know, uh, once you, once you, bleh, it's really, you could really do it back at best two out of three out of these battles, but all the battles will always be at best three out of five situations, so think of it as like these characters have three stock, rather than two, even though it had less two hearts, and like, you know, it's just pausing. Sadly, there isn't actually, there isn't actually a way to cut out of the game, you just have to restart. But hey, it's whatever. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out of that. I'm gonna cut out of that. Uh, we're just gonna go back. We're gonna load back our uh, save file. So yeah, now that I got that out the way, let's get to our formal version of the Let's Play. Oh, uh, I mean playthrough. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start the story mode of this game. Yes, for a Famicom game in 1993, this game had a story mode. Uh, this is very well. It's basically kind of well. It's basically kind of like the the story of Mega Man, pretty much. So I'm just gonna give you the basic things of this character. So on the one is left is uh, Doctor Little Ermin, I think, and then the one on the right is uh, Ivan Walnuts. I think it's Walnuts or Warner. I don't know what the actual translation is. But yeah, basically they're saying they're friends that made robots together and stuff. But then one day. Uh, Ermin found that his lab was destroyed, and all of the robots were stolen. Then finds out that our little professor here turned evil, and uh, he's using these robots to uh, <laughs> to take over the world. So Ermin uses the only robot he has left, being Sukupon, who was originally designed to be a comedy robot. And now he was going to be reprogrammed to be a fighting robot. To help save the world! That's basically the gist of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is, you know, he's just telling Sukupon to, you know, uh, that there's seven robots that uh, Warner has taken over and we need to bring them back to our side. And, you know, the evil guy's just like, nah, you can't do it, you're, you're too weak. Alright, so, these are the seven characters that you had originally had to unlock uh, for this game, for the story mode. To get them, once you fight them, once you defeat them, you, they join you on your side. So the characters from, that I'll just lift off this, is Flame, Tiger, Neo, uh, Senju, Sasuke, Ai, and Giant. So usually I don't, it doesn't really matter what order you fight them in, any order is fine, but for me, I am going to start with just an order, I'm going to start with playing. And obviously the only character we got on our side is Sukupan. Ooh, and we're on Tweet Stadium. Yeah, this game isn't very hard once you get the hang of it. It's really, it's really fun, it's almost, it's almost like... You know, I feel like if this game came out in America, and maybe came out earlier in the NES's life, this game honestly could have been one of Nintendo's bigger franchises. That's just my opinion on it, on the matter. Because <laughs> it's just fundamentally really fluid and really fun. He probably could have would have been Smash 2! And also, just like fighting games, there's this, uh, you know how sometimes where you get hit too many times and you end up being vulnerable for a short amount of time? Dreamhack Fight has this thing too. It kind of has like the thing of like uh, the character's heads are falling off and they got screwed back on even though all, obviously their bodies are floating. Oh, what the? No, stop! <laughs> Oh, he blocked that. Sweet. Smart boy. Oh, he blocked that too. Okay. Sure. He just goes... Oh, he just used Fireball. Oh, no. <laughs> Smart. I like this guy. 
But yeah, for this playthrough, I'm just gonna go through all the characters and show you all how to play each character effectively and this stuff. I'll tell you all the moves, how to use them, and stuff like that. Uh, what I'm planning to do is that I don't want to make, since this is a smaller game, it's like nothing too big, but it's like a very game that, you know, it's like, at least uh, to me, is a big game. It just has a big role in my, uh, in my love of retro games, certain retro games that not a lot of people talk about. Uh, I'm, we're not going to make these episodes too long. Obviously, this one's a little longer because I introduced you all to, oh, there you go, see, the invulnerability part. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, I'll just do one fight per episode, probably. Maybe one or two. Um, like, maybe two or three fights per episode. Because usually one fight takes around three or four minutes. And then we had the little cutscene that uh, Ermin's going down to reprogram the robot turned evil so he it can join our side. Flames on our side! What do you know? You know what that means. Say I would fight Tiger right now. We now have Flame on our side. We can use him in battle. So, uh, I only wanted to do, you know, do the introductions and, you know, how things work and, uh, how to play Druid Mag Fight and how to navigate the menus. Uh, so, this is all I wanted to do for the first episode. Next time, we're going to be fighting Tiger and Neo. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm hoping to, like, you know, it, I know it's something a rather n new slash old series that I'm doing, but it's just something that I wanted to do ever since I found out that this game's coming to the online service, and I'm so happy, and I want people to play this game so freaking much. This game is amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> I need to stop mentioning that. Uh, but yeah, next episode, we're going to play some more of this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me playing Joy Mac Fight and showing my <laughs> my love for this game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you guys will have a great day uh, and have a great and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down if you guys are playing Joy Mac Fight or if you're interested in playing Joy Mac Fight. Or if you have any questions about it, you can ask me and I can answer it. Cause uh, this is I'll be, even though this is an old game, not a lot of people played it, so not a lot of people will know a lot about this. See ya! Have a great day! See ya! <laughs> oh, I love this game so much.